Hey guys, Sleep Grandma here. I just wanted to tell you that um, I'm going to post some ear cleaning videos tomorrow night because I'm actually going to have some ears available to me <laughs> tomorrow. So I'm going to be posting that tomorrow night and I'm going to be posting some sleep videos later on this week. So stay tuned. Watch out for them. They're coming. I'm going to try to post every Wednesday night. So um, keep your eyes open, all right? Love you guys. I hope you're living in the middle and living in the present. Hey guys, Sleep Grandma here. I just got up. Um, I'm about to exfoliate my face with this exfoliating scrub gommage technique. Tonique. Anyway, there's two kinds of scrubs of Clinique, but this is the best scrub I've ever found. So, I'm trying to get these brown spots off. But anyway, gonna do this. What I wanted to talk to you about was um was sad stories. You know, um, I was about to start a relationship with a um older woman that was um um you know in my family. <laughs> She's not blood related, but she is in my family, and. Uh, you know, I come to find out that the first couple of days I spent with her, she really showed me who she was. And um, I just cut off the friendship right away. I just um, left. She said something rude. I left. And I, um, as I drove away, I pulled over and I blocked her number and I haven't spoken to her since. That was about two or three weeks ago. But the thing that, the thought that came to mind when I did that was this. I don't need any more sad stories, okay? I have had enough sad stories in my life. I got books and books and volumes of them. Unfortunately, they're still up here. And um, I mean, I'm glad they're still up here because it's for protection mode, but I don't need to relive that shit. Uh, so yeah, I said to myself, you know what? I don't need any more sad stories. I'm not even, this person's rude. I'm not even gonna entertain come to find out other people have told me the person's a bully so i'm really glad i valued myself enough to get rid of that to get out of that friendship because this person was real real sweet when we were um when we were you know when they lived in another state and we were communicating but um come to find out that that's not their real personality now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this on my hands Makes your hands real soft. I use quite a bit, but I'm that way. I always overdo everything. <laughs> but anyway, it's just, I guess, I don't know. My personality kind of over the top, you know? So this exfoliates your skin. I, I Yesterday I was in the bathtub. I exfoliated my arms, my legs, all my neck, all my chest area. And what it does is it takes away the um, all the dead blood cells. You know, makes your skin look polished, makes you look really nice because every time I um, use this, then I would go to an event or something and people would be like, oh my God, you look so great. Well, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't anything that changed. Just, I had taken all the dead blood cells off my face. So then when I put on my makeup, it just looked nice and smooth and wonderful. So I really recommend this, but I'm telling you, this is the best, best, um, scrub I've ever found. They're, they have the seven, don't get the seven day scrub. Get the other scrub. Because the seven day one is too rough. This one has kind of a grainy texture. And I love that. And the thing of it is, it doesn't have like oils and stuff. It is just like perfect. And um, it's non-comogenic, which means it won't clog your pores. And uh, yeah, it just really comes off. Your face is really clean. Then you can put oils on it. I just bought this new oil. Let me put on my glasses because I can't see a thing. Uh, this oil, it's got some kind of lemons and it's got papaya, lemon. It's a Brighter Days a Head Serum by Shia Moisture. Let's see. I guess I think Shia Moisture is a black company. I really want to get into black stuff, but anyway. That and this. This is the uh, Cannabis Sativa. It's a hemp seed oil and with witch hazel. Really great. I'm going to try those and see what happens. And this, Vitamin C. I'll use that maybe on, you know, 
on and off, but this is my favorite. My all, I've been using this for about 30 years because I used to have horrible acne here. So much so that I took a razor one time and just put it, you know, shaved my face and then I squeezed it and all this pus came out. It was really gross. But anyway, it was because I used too much creamer in my coffee. Anyway, um, so yeah, I just want to let you guys know that. No more sad stories. You don't need any more sad stories, okay? You deserve happiness. So go for your happiness. Talk to you later, guys. Be grateful for what you already have, and I love you. Just wash this off and dry your face, pat your face, and um, put on your oils, okay? Much love. This video. Um, I said that the seven-day scrub was um, was harsher than the one that I used. No, actually, it isn't. It's softer than the one I used. It's got oils. I, I mean, I don't know. It just feels softer. I like the grainier one because I have, like, crocodile skin. So I need something that's going to be rough and really rub it and really scrub off all those. So it depends on what you like. If you like rough, use the one that I use. If you like it something softer, like say you have delicate skin, then use the 7-Day Exfoliating, okay? All right, talk to you later. Bye.